Um, yo, guys, I'm back. I'm doing another video. I'm in my studio, my house at the moment. So it's a bit of a change of environment. I feel like this angle is really bad, but hi ho, it's off to work we go. Um, yeah, so I've done a few bits and bobs since my last video. I did Peak District Tour with my car group. We went up to, what was that place called again? Peak District. We went to the Peak District. I took loads of videos, but um, I don't think they're really upload worthy. And there's a few where I'm driving, but do you guys really care to see a video of me like driving my hurricane through a mountain and stuff? Like, I'm not sure if you guys would be interested in that. Let me know in the comments below if you are and I'll upload it. Uh, but in the meantime, I am looking at a uh, 911 GT3 RS. So I spoke to my dealer, I've asked them for one. Um, they put me on the list the list so I have to just get approved if I get approved by Porsche and by my dealer obviously I would then be allowed to buy one it's much like a Rolex where you don't just go in no matter how much money you have and say oh I want a Rolex I pay cash I don't care what you have to then instead do is say oh like you have to build a reputation with them you have to have bought several cars from them and I bought a few now so I've owned a few what's that oh by the way Lamborghini just announced a um, Ducati Street Fighter motorbike I can't ride bikes. If I could, I would buy it. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. So, you have to have owned a few Porsches. I've owned a few now. I've owned two Panameras, Taycan, um, some other bits and bobs there, here and there. Yeah. But I've owned a few and I've ordered, like, I've on order now. I've got my Cayenne Turbo GT, which comes in December. I've got my Taycan GTS, which comes in December. And I've got my 911 Carrera 4 GTS Cabriolet, which comes in March. So that's a pretty cool amount. So hopefully they'll approve me and say, yep, Tommy can have one. He's a dedicated Porsche customer. He always comes back, sells his cars back to us, blah, 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 blah. And if they do, I'm just going to show you the spec I want to get because I've done it on TikTok and I haven't done it on here. Oh, yeah. Speaking of TikTok, my TikTok now has 15,000 followers and that's up from like, I had like 8,000 a few weeks ago. So that means a lot, um, guys. Thank you for everyone that's followed my TikTok. My TikTok's Tommy Music, even though I only talk about car stuff. I just haven't been bothered to change it yet. And it was when... It was mainly focused around my music stuff, which it isn't now. So, um, yeah, let me um, spec this GT3 RS. I'm just going to, this is a quick video, honestly. Like, guys, I really wanted to give you a proper video this, this weekend, but I wasn't able to because I was in the Peak District and I was driving. I haven't had time to edit everything together. I can just upload a seven-minute video of me doing Snakes Pass and caning the hell out of the Hurricane Evo. But I thought you might guys might not be interested in that. But, again, if you are, let me know and I'll upload it. But for now... GT3 RS. So let's. Oh, that's the wrong mouse. Let's go to build your own. Oh, speaking while this loads, a lot of people say, "Oh, what do you do for a living? What do you do for a living?" Let me show. You. This is Dragon Ball Z. Let me show you what I do for a living. So I have this, which is when I used to be called Taser. Um, I was a producer and DJ, and I was signed to Sony. Um, and I changed my name because I felt like I outgrew it after several years. So that's probably why a lot of people can't find my music online because they don't know to search Taser. But yeah, I used to be called Taser. Now I'm called just Tommy. Um, I used to DJ around everywhere and I used to do other bits and bobs. And I invest in cars and flip cars now. Um, I say flip cars. I end up just owning them for ages and saying, I love it, I'm not selling it. And then never sell it. Um, but yeah, invest in loads of bits and bobs and um, some crypto here and there. I'm not that great at crypto, but I have like had a few lucky breaks so yeah that's kind of like what i do for a living um i can do a more in-depth video later on but yeah for now gt3 rs what the hell yeah okay gt3 rs let's go so my gt3 rs i would look so let me explain something to you right now the paid to sample colors are amazing, but they are nine grand. So I'm in the middle of whether or not I should get it or not. I'll show you my nine grand paint to sample spec and I'll show you the, the regular spec. But for now, let me show you my paint to sample. So I'll press accept changes. And the color I would want my 911 GT3 RS to be is ultraviolet. No, viola metallic. <laughs> ultraviolet. Um, basically, my friend Adrian has a GT3 RS, the 991.2 generation, and he has it in the same color and it looks immaculate. So that is the color I'd go for. Um, when it comes to rims, I would get the gold rims, um, but you have to get the YSAC pack, so it increases the price by 22,000 pounds. And I would get the YSAC pack with a crayon interior because I don't think the red one makes sense when the brake calipers, you'll see anyway. So 22,000 for the YSAC pack, I'll slap that on. That means I have a carbon hood. That means I have a few other carbon bits and the car is slightly lighter. It also comes with the magnesium wheels 
and some other bits and bobs. Sorry, my phone keeps going on. I should really put it on mute. So uh, yeah, I put it on mute now. Yeah, it comes with some other bits and bobs and it says, why sack on the headrest? Um, it just, it's supposed to be more of the like track focused version of the car, but yeah, you, you kind of have to have it if you're getting a GT3 RS, but it doesn't add like that much. Um, <laughs> so yeah, full bucket seats, there's no option for that. This is a race car, so I'm not gonna even think about getting the um, adaptive sports seats. I would also get the full YSAC pack with the roll cage um, just because the roll cage is carbon fiber and it looks sick. So here's the roll cage now, as you can see in the back, carbon fiber roll cage, um, which is the first of its kind in a production car. Uh, I would also not get anything to do with the seats. Exterior, hmm. So I've got the ultraviolet color. The exterior has all the carbon bits on the front. So it has a carbon hood already. Um, I would get Window triangles carbon, you can't get that. I'll get obviously the LED courtesy door lights. I have them on all my Porsches and I'm just gonna kick it because I might as well as only 100 pounds. Um, I would do, so accent package logos, if they had it in gold, I would do gold. So the GT3 RS is in gold on the side to match the wheels. But I don't believe you can actually get it in gold. So these silver, indigo, blue and pyro red and all those colors would clash. Silver wouldn't really make sense because the wheels are gold. So I'm just gonna avoid that at the moment. Uh, what else? Drive chain and chassis, front axle lift. So that lifts the front nose when you're going over speed bumps. Need it because it is quite a low car race car. So yeah, and composite brake system. So composite brakes are carbon ceramic brakes. They have a higher tolerance for heat and they uh, that means you can use them over and over again without overheating and without them fading. So I would put that in the car because I will be taking this on track if the Porsche gods decide to bless me with one. I have faith in my dealer and I have faith in the universe that this will come to fruition. So yeah, I would get carbon ceramic brakes. Uh, I'll leave them in the yellow. That's why I didn't get the red uh, interior. So I would do that. Lighting and vision, LED main headlights. I really think LED main headlights with matrix beams are essential. We were in the peak districts, I was in the Evo. The Evo just has uh, Xenons and I could not see anything. So my friend behind me with a 911 Carrera 4S put his full brights on when we were driving at night, this was, so that I could see in front of me. So yeah, I will definitely be ticking that. Um, exclusive design tail lights. So the exclusive design tail lights basically just black out the red and add some LED elements on the side. So I would also get that. Privacy glass, uh, I don't think it's necessary, especially when this is like a track car. I don't really need tints on it and the tints only do the sides. So I don't think it's important. Park assist rear, including reversing camera. You need that for when you're parking and you've got this big old spoiler in your way. So you will need that because otherwise you won't be able to see anything. Um, traffic sign recognition, don't need that. Home link, so it allows me to open my gate in my garage. I'll take that. Light design package, interior lights. This is really quick because it's like, I just know I want everything. Seat heating, you can't get with the bucket, so I don't need that. Isofix, you can't get, which is unfortunate, you know, you need, you need that baby seat. Um, you can't get Isofix with the buckets either. Uh, passenger net and footwell isn't, it, uh, isn't available when you have the YSAC pack for some reason, unless it just comes with it. So my seat belts, I would get in racing yellow because the brakes are racing yellow. Um, and that should look pretty cool and it should balance out the yellow on the middle of the steering wheel as well. I think it adds some life to the interior and it goes with the GT3 RS right there as well. Um, I would also probably get the dial in yellow, rev counter in yellow. Let me see what that looks like. Oh, if that wants to load, it doesn't want to load. So let's just assume this is yellow. Um, sports chrono, I'll get that in yellow as well. So that is the chrono clock up here. See, that changes yellow, but this one didn't change yellow. That's so weird. Um, racing harness for passenger seat. I mean, oh, not possible. Okay, never mind. Um, interior race tech, sun visors, don't need them in race techs. Belt outlays, don't need it in race techs. Belt outlet, it trims in race techs. That is where the seat belts come out the top. Don't need that in race techs. And these are quite expensive, so I don't see the point. Storage compartment with Porsche logo. Why not? I've always wanted a Porsche logo on my storage compartment. Uh, da, 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 da. Interior carbon, illuminated door sill guards in matte carbon. Why not? They're only £294. Audio communication, Bose surround sound system. You need that. You need a little bit of Bose in your life. You know when you're going on a track, you need to listen to them tunes. Um, I'm being sarcastic, by the way. I wouldn't do that. 
So, um, yeah, it's pretty straightforward with this car. You just tick everything you flipping can. Um, I, this is my ideal spec. I mean, I spoke to my wife and she's not really a fan. She actually preferred, I don't know why I've zoomed in so much. She actually preferred Ice Grey Metallic, which is £9,000 cheaper. So I might do that if um, the option is possible. Um, that actually looks really good. It looks... Ice cream metallic is a nice color. Here it looks um, silver. Let me see if I can ice gray metallic. So this is what ice. Oh, I missed out ice gray metallic. This is what ice cream metallic looks like um, in real life. So it's like a white, really, really metallic white. Um, so I, I don't mind getting it in that color. To be fair, it's a nice in between between silver and white, and it doesn't cost ten thousand pounds to option. So yeah, I might get that. Um, but yeah, this is my spec. Um, a little bit of info on the GT3 RS. So the GT3 RS is an improved version of the GT3. It's a more track-focused version. This car now has a ton of aero, as you can see by the huge wing on the back. Um, the disgustingly huge wing. Uh, the, it's got every panel on the car is new, um, from what I understand. Uh, the doors are even new as well because there's an aerodynamic element that flows from the door, from the wheel arch to the door to reduce drag and reduce turbulent air. Um, the car also has a front duct system to channel airflow through the radiators at the front. So now there's three radiators instead of one on this 911 and that allows the ejection of hot air out of the hood, um, which also improves airflow as well. And it means you haven't got a boot, so I wouldn't be able to go anywhere with this car overnight because I won't be able to store anything unless I put it behind but then I've got this big old roll cage so that wouldn't work either um, <laughs> I sound like I don't want this car I really want it um, I'm super excited um, yeah it's got aerodynamic elements all over it even on the roof um, all the aero is functional on the interior of the car what they've changed is you now have four dials that allow you to change things like the um, rebound and the compression of the shocks on the fly, which is the first for a road car. And you can also change the differential um, percentage for entry and corner exit, which is really, really cool. I'm a person that I like to fiddle with all that kind of things, especially when I'm driving on, for example, simulators. I'm always shifting my differential because each corner has a different... Um, uh, each corner has a different characteristic for diff um, corner entry and exit. So if you can shift the amount of power that the car is sending to either wheel on the, on the rear um, axle, um, it can really change your lap time throughout the corners and throughout the track. So um, yeah, that'd be really cool. And that's something I would definitely be using when I'm driving, especially on track. And obviously not on day to day because that'd be flipping pointless unless I want to drift. That'd be really good for drifting because then you can fully open or fully close the diff, which would be nice. Um, and suspension stuff is cool as well because it means you can dial it in without having to just go through Porsches, Comfort, Sport and Sport Plus settings. Um, the improvement of the car, 515 horsepower, not that much horsepower over the GT3, but um, the gearbox ratio is shorter, so it should accelerate a bit faster and it should be a bit more snappy through the gears and in and out of corners, which will, is a track focused car. It's not as fast as a GT3, it's not as fast as a Turbo S, it's not supposed to be. It's supposed to be fast around the track, which it will be. Um, this will probably be one of the fastest cars you can buy. A lot of people have been asking me what I think the Nürburgring time of this car will be. And I told them straight up, it's not beating the GT2 RS, it's impossible. The Nürburgring is a very power, power dependent track. Um, that's a very long straight on the Nürburgring. The GT3 RS, the GT2 RS, sorry, has about 700 horsepower and it flies, it has two turbos as well. So this car won't be able to eat that, but around the corners, I think they'll be quite similar. So I'm thinking this car will probably be, um, hmm, I think it'll be below the Hurricane Performante, but it will probably be maybe 10 seconds quicker than the GT3. Let me just check if that makes sense, because that might not make sense. So the, nine, the 911 GT3, the 992, has a 655. So, hmm, I reckon this is going to be about a 6.52, I think this car would be, actually. Hmm, actually, no, it'll be probably be quicker than that. I think this is going to be, like, in the 640s. I think this will be a 6.45-ish, maybe? 6.46? I think it's going to be a bit quicker than the GT3. It's not going to be as quick as the GT2 RS, which is a 6.38 with the Manthai Racing pack on it. 
It'll be interesting to see. I mean, I'm not a psychic. It's not going to be quicker than the GT2 RS. It's not going to be the new record ring holder. That is impossible. But it will do well. And I'm hoping I get one. My dealer, Porsche Center Swindon, they're really rooting for me to get one. Um, and I even said to people on my TikTok, go onto their page and say, please give Tommy a, a GT3 RS. Um, so hopefully they give me one. If they don't, this was a waste of your time. It was a waste of my time. But I'm manifesting it. I think this is going to happen. I mean, I'll take it in white. I'll take it in red. I'll take it in blue. I'll, I'll take it in whatever color. I just want the car. Because this is a car I'll just keep and just drive. Uh, I'll drive the wheels off this, as you know from my other cars. But thank you very much for watching. Um, sorry that, again, this was another, um, my spec for this car. And it wasn't a like actual doing thing, but tomorrow I'm going to Salon Privé, which is today for you because it's Saturday. So yeah, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video and I won't waste any more of your time. Follow me on TikTok with at Tommy Music, like and subscribe to my channel. I did this in one take, so please put some respect on my name. Um, catch you guys later, bye.